Dalil Polsani. I'm your main friend trainer. Welcome back, guys. We are in the uh, project of COBOL level. We are writing co 11 COBOL programs to complete one of the small kind of project. Uh, this is our video 9, guys. Okay, video 9, and I'm on row 9. Okay. In the last video, guys, in the video 8 only, we already completed this particular uh, task. Okay, we used a let me show you we used a transaction file like this and we consolidated guys okay if you have not seen that video i would request you to see that video as well and other videos guys we are on video eight for this one and in today's video we are on video nine guys okay the class is on video nine here so in the yesterday class or in the previous day class guys I told you how to consolidate this particular data into this particular file with a COBOL program. Now I got an idea. OK, I got an idea. Why don't I go a little bit better and I show you one more way to do that using only JCL. OK, I want to do calculations in the JCL guys. Think about it. Have you seen calculations in the JCL guys? Have you did anything like that of doing calculations using JCL job? All right, not many, not many. If you have seen guys, very good. I really appreciate that point. But if you have not seen guys, this is a knowledgeable class. And if you like the class guys, OK, watch to the end of the class. If you like the class, then please like the video. OK, if you like this trick or if you like this information, guys, please like the video. Put a comment on my video. Share the video guys and of course if you are not subscribed, I would expect you are subscribed only. So if you are not subscribed, give a subscription as well guys. OK, let me go. I'm going to show you a trick how to do calculations in JSON and it's not much. Uh, it is used in the project in a special cases guys, not in all the cases. OK, I showed you how to do this consolidation using COBOL program in video 8. This video I'll show the same consolidation using my JCL guys. OK, so let's go to the mainframe system here. 3.4. So this is our library which we are using here. OK, and in the previous class we have created this particular. Job or this particular file. Let me open it for you and I show you what we did previously. OK, so this is the file which is as usually we are using from a previous video only guys and this is the file we created. This is the file we created here with the COBOL program and consolidated the total. We verified it. The logic is given there and I explained you the logic in multiple ways. OK, now let me write the file. Let me take this file. This is my input file. I want to consolidate the data into each single record there are multiple transactions okay if you are not if you are seeing this video for first time you have not seen my previous video let me explain you so there is a card customer's transaction this particular customer card has done two transactions one is of 2000 some amount and one other is 15000 what i want to do is i want to club them some uh, do the total of them and then tell that this card total is 17 this card total is 17,000 and this card total here is somewhere like 3,500 like that. I want to club them and create one record like this particular way. OK, like this particular way. So there are two steps I need to show you. First, we'll do one step and then I'll show you the second step. So this is using the sort JCL. So you might have not known guys in sort we can do calculations as well. You know this actually when I write this code guys by the time I write this code you'll understand that sort what are you learned was not the one what we use in the project is the real one. So I'll show you OK I'll show you here guys. Most people doesn't know this. Most people doesn't know. Few people do know guys in the project they used to work right so they know this one. If you are not working in the project guys, OK, if you are not working in the project, you may not know this at all because nobody trains this point. OK, most people don't train this at all. Even I train only for few of my batches, not all batches because it depends based on the questions, based on the details guys. 
So it's a sort program. OK, so if you are not having any knowledge on sort guys, that is a little bit trouble. OK, we'll make a video on the sort utility as well. You can put your comments guys. OK, you can put your comments what you want on the next video. OK, what you want on the next video, you can put a comment. I will try to make the comments guys. OK, based on your comments, I can start making the videos for you. OK, uh, this is input file sort in file. DD DSN equal to this is my input file. This is equal to share and the work file sort WK01 DD DSN or unit equal to 3390. Come on, yeah. Volume equal to serial equal to JA SYS1 space allocation. I'll be giving some track uh, 1 comma 1 and release it. Then sort out. I'll be creating this as my output file here. I just copy it and I put it as three guys. OK, we'll not use this file for our next logic. We'll use the logical file which created a uh, previous video guys. OK, this is only for a special class. And the location here is in 90 volume zero equal to JS phase one. Some of you have commented send a WhatsApp message saying Anil your videos are good, but it is lengthy. I'll make sure to make it small guys, but understand the programs are written live. So my typing is to be done, explain to be done. So it will take a little bit lengthy videos only guys, but it is good guys. OK, it is good. I'll try to make videos short, but I may need to break the videos into two parts. Part one, part two like that guys. I don't think that will be a good option, but I'll try to make it a little bit fast or a little bit slow. You can put your comments guys what you want, whether you want a short video or a full video, you can mention that. So I'll write this one block size equal to zero. So this is my input file. This is my output file and that's my work file all given. So the trick here is very simple one. You already know this trick guys, but you win using only for your intro purpose. Sort fields is equal to enter. This is my card number. OK, this is for card number guys. This is for card number here. OK, now I want to sort them by card number and then consolidate by card number for the totals, right? So see the magic some fields. You've been using this some fields for many times guys. OK, you might be using for your intro answer for many, many times. You might be seeing in Google many times saying some fields is equal to none. This will remove the duplicates. This will remove the duplicates. Really guys, let me tell you that answer is just created answer guys in reality. OK, in reality guys, the people who created sort utility, the people guys who created the sort utility, na, they did not create for removing duplicates. It's so funny guys. It's so funny that you are we are answering not you only. We are answering in the interview that this will be removing duplicates. This will be removing duplicates. But guys, this was not created to remove duplicates. If really guys, OK, listen carefully. If IBM people want to use a sort utility and remove a duplicate, they can write duplicate equal to no. This would be much explanative, right? This would be explanative. Why would they do to write a word sum and then tell that they will remove duplicate? Simple question guys, if you are the developer, if you want to remove duplicate, you will write a word like this to remove duplicates. But here when they created this particular field guys, this is used for doing calculations, not for removing duplicates guys. And this is not supposed to be used in many cases. OK, some fields is equal to none guys means it will remove duplicates is what I would say. Yes, but I'll tell you a simple thing. This is my card number. OK, this is my card number. Now these are called duplicate. OK, that you know it's a simple thing. My point is which one is the right one? If this fellow is removing the duplicate, which record is right? This one is right or this one is right? How do this one know? So removing duplicates is not that simple of writing this word guys. It is a different technique in the project. OK, in the project we deal with more of level of understanding guys, not by syntax, but anyway, OK, anyway, what I want to tell the system is not to do any none point of case. I want to do real calculations. 
So I'm going to tell the system the position. So I need the file position, guys. OK, so I'll open this uh, screen. I open the screen. I'll go to my file. Give the calls command. So 46th position, seven character length, guys. OK, 46 position, seven character length. That is the field I want to calculate. So I would tell the system the starting position. Length of the characters and the type of the data. So here it is a zone decimal. It's a for calculation, guys. This is to sum the column values from the column values here over here slash star slash slash. This is the real syntax of some fields, guys. Some fields is equal to none was a created syntax by the people who are going for interview. The reality of some fields is this one, guys. And I show you, OK, and I show you guys. Let me run. I don't know what mistakes I made here while I'm talking to you over here. OK, I can see there is a mistake. So like this, I may make some more mistakes. Let me go, guys. OK, we know that we cannot write a program without mistakes. So we will run it. If it is going successfully, that's good. If it is failing, guys, we'll solve it anyway. So I want to do the summarization of the fields and put them in a single record. That's what my task is. Submitting here. It says JSL error. It says a JSL error. Let's go to the spool. System spool over here. It says on seventh line improper subparameter list DSN fields. So improper. I don't know what is that improper here. Uh, let's check one by one over here. DSN is there. OK, so here you see here there is a dot. That is the one that's causing the problem over here. OK, so let's solve that one. Try to run again. Like I told you guys, not even experienced like me can write a job or a program without mistakes. OK, I have explained this one in your third or fourth video, guys. I don't know. I'm not remembering that, but I was asking you that. Can you write a program without mistakes? OK, you can answer it in my comment, guys. Can you answer? Can you code a program without a mistakes? Yes or no? Obviously, you'll say Anil, yes, we'll make mistakes. So the difference between you and me, guys, OK? I as a trainer for these many years, you as a fresher for no years, we both are making mistake, guys. What's the difference between us? The difference is I can find my mistake much easy, perfectly fast in a straightforward. Can you find your mistakes fast? If it is no, then you need practice. That's it. Only practice guys. Only practice is required there. As long as you're practicing, you can complete it. OK, let's not go into detail. Let's run this for a second time. First time failed guys, second time. Submitting here. It says zero. Wow. Let's see the file. Let's see the output. Start 3.4. Yeah, file 2. And let's keep start. So file 2 is the input. File 3 is the output. So if I see the file 3 here. Perfect, guys. You see card number 1 is 17,000. Card number 2 is 3,500. Card number 3 is 15,000, 1,500. Card number 5 is 150. So just remember. 1703515150 so if i show you the same output in the final file okay this one is created by cobal program this one is created by the jsl which i created now so if i open this file it also shows on 17000 3500 1500 150 same thing over here 17000 3500 15, 150 so the perfect output guys OK, without writing a COBOL program, I can generate this output. But but for our task, guys, OK, listen, listen very carefully, guys. Don't go away fast for our task. I need only two fields. OK, this file I need to use in my next program, guys, to do the matching logic. OK, our next video would be on matching logic, guys. There are two programs for matching logic or four programs for matching logic here. So before we go that, I need the transaction file of with these two fields only. But in my first output of 
here i got one two three to all the fields i need one and two field guys so let's what we do is let's change a small point okay let's change only one small point here so we will use another option guys we'll use another option we will create another file for okay we'll create another file for here and i want only two fields so both the fields are at like five characters and seven character 12 only guys so this is a 12 character file and i need to only tell the system okay i need to tell the system to bring only those two columns into my output file so if you want to do a column concept guys you need to use inrec or outrec so i'll be using a outrec here and i tell the system at first position you 1 comma 5 characters at sixth position at sixth position guys this is tell the system that on the sixth position what you want from where okay so first five input file first five characters input file from 46 to 7 characters so this is column 1 this is column 2 column 1 keep it in first position column 2 start at the sixth position here i'm creating file number 4 okay i'm creating file number 4 3 is already created let's run this one okay let's run this one here submitting it is zero zero here i can open the file 4 perfect guys this is my card number these are 17 35 115 150 these are my totals so using a simple jcl guys 10 line jcl i can do a calculations on my data that's the beauty of some fields guys not the some fields none okay so if you like the video guys as usually please do like the video if you have something to tell if you want a particular program you want to see or a particular kind of topic you want put it in the comment section guys and do subscribe okay like any other video guys as long as you are liking the videos i can make more videos for you okay thank you guys thank you very much for your time see you in the next video